morning. It is Friday. It's 5.13. I'm just getting ready to go to work. And uh, usually Fridays are my favorite. But today I'm not in a great mood. <laughs> it's been a rough week. It's been very hot, very sunny, and humid. And by the time Friday rolls around, uh, you guys that work outside, work in construction or the trays or whatever you do that is physically intense, you know by the end of the week you're pretty much exhausted. And uh, I'm pretty much to that point. But we have a lot of concrete to pour today and uh, we got to get it done. So you got to push through. What also puts me in a bad mood is when guys don't show up and when you need them the most. So when it's hot and sunny and you're pouring a lot of concrete, you need your whole team there. When guys don't show up and they don't even call and tell you why they haven't shown up, that's really disappointing. When you take good care of your guys, you let them borrow stuff, and you just go way above and beyond as a boss to try to treat them right, and then they treat you wrong. It's disappointing, but I've been through this. <laughs> I've been through this so many times. You know, you, you in a way get used to it, which is sad, but what are you going to do? But we're going to push through today. I'm going to offer the, the other two guys uh, either a bonus today or a paid day off on Monday because I know those guys are just as tired as I am right now, and I really need those guys to, uh, you know, dig deep and push through today because we have a lot of concrete to pour, and it's just as hot and humid as it's been all week. Anyways, we're going to make the best of today, and we're going to get this job done. Let's go get it done. I'll see you at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? No, you don't have any gallons? No. Nope. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Is that more than a gallon? Morning, Scott. Good morning. How's the coffee business? Yeah, it's going. Have to have supplies for today. Got to go to war with the concrete. We'll win the battle. We always win. We never lose. Have a nice day, sir. See ya. Morning. Glad it's Friday. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so it's 6.30, we gotta leave, and another guy didn't show up. The guy that I was hoping was gonna be very reliable and has been so far. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what it takes to get guys to show up. I just don't understand it, and I never will, I never will. I need you all day, Eric didn't show up. All right, so we're on the job. Had to bring my son in today because three no call no shows today three so that leaves me and bugs and that's it so i brought in my son and then there's a guy from another company thankfully there's a contractor that was nice enough to let me borrow him yeah yep not good usually fridays go okay this friday is not going okay so far but we're gonna make the best of it you know even when everything goes wrong you got to keep a positive attitude man because if you don't, you're just going to make yourself more miserable. Am I happy about this? No. Am I disappointed and a little frustrated? Yeah, but I'm going to keep it positive and we're going to get this job done. And then we got the weekend and hopefully we'll scrape some people together and go on next week. So this is just part of owning a business. Uh, if you own a construction business in any trade, this is just what you deal with on a regular basis. Anyways, concrete's in a few minutes, so we're going to get it done. I'll see you when concrete gets here. Morning. You know what you're doing? A little bit. You ready, Otto? Yeah, I put five in, mix it up. It's pretty sandy. Pull that rod backwards about four inches.
right, so we got the second pour ready. We're gonna leave that gravel in to the very end. When we pull the truck out, I'm gonna dig that out quickly with the Bobcat, we'll grade that. Pour this. So the guys are out on the slab finishing. The bottom of the slab is actually setting up at the same time as the top because it's on a hill. So two guys are starting here. They're gonna finish these six squares and then two guys are gonna start at the top and it should all work out pretty good. Put a little bit more heel on the joiner. Right on? Good eye for an old man. What is that, my present? Yeah. Thank you. Well, that was a lot easier than the first pour yesterday. A lot easier. Todd ain't even sweating yet. <laughs> I like that look. I like that look. Not quite. Oh, plus it was a. Yep. True that. Hey, you put a crumb on there. Give that crumb off. Right before I broom. <laughs> Grab that one, Ryan, right in front of you. You wash this out real good. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Adam, it's Ryan from Victory. Does Richfield have any building supplies? They got any cure and seal over there they can put on a truck? I got gotcha. you. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it. Yeah. But a lot easier today. Oh, yeah. A lot of things were easier today. Because I was here. Got it! Poor mosquito. Don't you have a heart? That mosquito probably had a family. Come on. His wife is probably gonna be waiting for him tonight. Never shows up. All right, we just uh, finished up this concrete here. First pour of the day. Turned out really nice. So all we have left is one pour on this big job. It's about 12 yards. It's coming in about an hour. We have a little bit of time for lunch. It's a big driveway. It's Friday and we're finishing up and I am glad. I am glad. I'm gonna try to find Autumn a car tomorrow. She needs a car for college, so that should be interesting. What's up? Uh, are we having lunch? Are you tired? No, I'm never tired, but uh, I'm hungry. Yeah? Even I'm... the most powerful truck still needs gas, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good one. He's more like a smart car. You tired? Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, at least you're honest. You tired? No. Not at all? No. The camera's not too heavy? No. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to have some lunch and then come back and pour this. Splattered his grill, man. You should stay up all night and edit one of my videos tonight. Sure. I'll whip it up in five minutes and I'll add some of my own jokes and we'll be good. We'll be in <laughs> I'll have to review it. No, I'll post it in the middle of the night. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it will be your best hit video. My dad is terrible. And... <laughs> you just need to get sponsored by one of the pumping companies. They'll give you a truck with the custom wrap. Yes, that would be nice. Easy money. Yes. <laughs> on on yeah, the pipe, would... easy money, easy money, easy money. Yeah. No, easy money and then arrows to the end. <laughs> that would be cool, huh? End, dollar signs. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it would be cool, but it sounds like it'd be expensive. <laughs> oh, man. We got you again. He's really good. I asked him for the best and they sent you, so I don't know what that means.
too old for this, man. Right, right. <laughs> I'll be out here at 70, baby, playing in the Yeah, you probably will if you're still alive. That's your form box? Yes, sir. That's better than nothing. Man, a pick. Yep. How long you been driving? Four years. That's it. You're pretty good for only two years, man. Not bad. Oh, come on. I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna spray and watch. He deserves it, doesn't he? Come on, man. Let's do it one more time, I don't like it. Okay. Eric, one more time. Let's do it one more time, I don't like it. Eric, one more time. Let's do it one more time, I don't like it. Yep, that's better. Nice that's good. <laughs> Still feel fresh on them. Like we didn't do nothing. Super easy, right? Yep. Easy money, bugs? Easy money. <laughs> yeah, right. So am I. I'm tired, man. Uh, sure was. I had Autumn walk all the way around and look for nails. Now we'll find out if she did a good job or not. Autumn, you missed one? Autumn! 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 Fired. Fired! This driveway was the epitome of easy money right here. Super, super easy. More than one shot, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you can tell by the colors. We did it all today. All 80. Yeah, right. Four hour retarder went really slow pouring and you can get you could one you could one shot. You can't do that. Why? Because the surface will dry out and the bottom will be oh, soft. Tons of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just every hour one more coat. Yeah. Man, this job was so easy. Uh -huh. It feels like we didn't even really do nothing though. No, it just showed up and that's it. I know. I hope it's hotter next time we get a big driveway. Like way hotter. <laughs> and it was kind of fun too when he didn't show up this morning. It just made it a little more interesting, you know? Why, why, why? You know, it's just a little harder, harder work for us. I didn't mean to. Take a long pin, put the pin in the ground first, and then put the wood stake in the same hole. That usually works pretty good. You want to swear up? I should probably get this on video, huh? Yeah, I could be here for a video. while, yeah. 
Look at the little hammer. Come on. I don't want to hit his hand. Come on. Okay, I'm going to hit it. Hit, nah, hang on. Let me show you something with these. Huh? No, stop. <laughs> when you're pounding a stake with a sledgehammer, you use, the, the use, the, the use the side, use the side of it. Because you got a bigger target, obviously, using the side of the hammer. But I still miss sometimes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Did you guys pound a pin in the ground first? Yes, yeah. sir. Should be good. good. What about this side? No, now that I showed you how to do it, you can try on your own. No. Victory no, style. No, no, no. We bent the pin. It's super hard. Come on. Oh, style. Yeah. Go around like a mixer. Oh, the next one's side. There you go. You got it. Oh man, a rock fell in there. We gotta start over. I'm just kidding. Put it in there. It's Friday afternoon. We finally finished this big old driveway. It was about 80 yards. That's what I ordered with extras and everything. Uh, it turned out real nice. So we did it in four pours. Actually, it was five pours. We knocked out the hard stuff the first day, the sidewalk and a little piece of the pad. The second day, we did the big pour up top. And then we did a second little pour because it was so hot. And then today, we finished it out with two pours. And we poured the culvert walls with the first pour. So it turned out real good, though. It's a big driveway. Glad it's over though. So I had a lot of difficulties this week, as you noticed, mainly with employees. People not showing up, people saying that they're coming and still don't show up, texting that they're on their way and still don't show up. It's been a difficult week, especially in the middle of a big job like this when you have a lot of concrete to pour and your help doesn't show up. That makes it really hard. But I try to keep a positive attitude even when everything goes wrong because you're only gonna make it worse. You're only gonna make yourself feel worse, get more nervous, upset and uh, miserable but that's not the way i am uh, i try to be positive even when things aren't going my way so driveway's done check is in my wallet customer's happy he's been watering it first pour is bleaching out already all right we are done for the week have another big driveway next week uh, garage floor next week so it's going to be another busy week so i will see you guys monday morning adios